still giddy about him, but uh, at the same time, it's not enough because it, it you need that under, underlying kind of tacit agreement, for the sake of a better word, um, that you see eye to eye if you're going to be quarrelling over everything. So I think best friends is a is a very good ingredient in a marriage. And he said, I've read in this paper about this island out of Scotland. It's supposed to be lovely, wonderful place. You see, shall we go on honeymoon there? And I said, well, why not? <laughs> so we went to the Outer Hebrides for our honeymoon on Tyree, which is the furthest island out. So uh, I said, well, that sounds gorgeous. You know, it was unusual to do something like that. That was a long way to go. So um, our honeymoon was on Tyree in a little cottage with two elderly sisters who didn't know we were on honeymoon but treated us so lovely and beautifully and, and four meals a day and everything and it cost us eight pound a week. But yes, I did have a crunch moment which was when um, he was first referred to Topless Hospital and this lady rang me up and I'd take, I knew what the call was going to be about so I'd taken the phone up to the bedroom and I think there was a real feeling of desolation um, and I did cry but I didn't tell David I'd had the call and uh, we went on for another I don't know whether it was a year or 18 months I don't really, it could have been longer I just don't know how long we went before we went back to the doctor and then we were sent David was sent to the hospital again and then he went for an MRI scan and got the diagnosis and so on but again he wasn't aware of it at all